Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Sign Lens, we're going to talk about workflow for travel and location photography. So, how are you going to keep everything backed up and managed when you're on that long trip? Is it going to be this or this? I'm heading out of the country. I'm heading to Uganda. I don't want to carry a lot of things. I don't want to carry a lot of weight, but I want to take a look at how I'm going to keep all my images safe, back them up, and bring them back to the States here with me. First off, am I going to take my laptop? No, I'm not going to take my laptop. I don't want to take a laptop with me. It's just too heavy. It's too hard to take. So I'm leaving that at home. I'm going to take a new device called a Narbox. I've been so excited about this because I've been wanting something like this for a long, long time. A device that allows me to back up my cards, but also see what's on the device. I mean, it has a small screen here, which is great, but that's not where I get to see my images. I connect to them on my phone. On my phone, I have an app that connects to my Narbox with a Wi-Fi connection. And now I can see all the images as I back them up onto my Narbox. So what I'm carrying is this, and in my backpack up here is like my little backup area. In my backup area, I've got my, I've got two Narboxes. I'm bringing an extra one here with me so I can have two of them with me. And in this bag here, I have my adapter. So it'll work in the uh, British, which is Uganda. I got a cable, an extra battery, and my second Narbox. I number them. I've got one and two. I'll start with one and then I'll back up the one to two. I'm taking a case that has 12 cards in it. In that case, I will flip those cards over as I shoot them and as I back them up to my Narbox. And then if I can get away with it, if I don't shoot past those 12 cards, I will not erase anything. But if I have to, I'll start erasing the first ones. But I'll definitely back it up to two places. When I fly back, I will not put both these in my bag. I'll put one in my check luggage and one in my, uh, my backpack. What if somebody steals my backpack while I'm going through the airport? I don't want both of my backups in the same place. Doesn't make any sense. So it's just a great simple, it's a simple system. It's a great way to have kind of the capabilities of a computer because once I get out there, I can look at images, I can sort images uh, through the app on my phone. I see everything that's on my Narbox. So anyway, let's get to Uganda. Let's get to shooting. Let's see what we got. So we've been traveling all through Uganda here for the last like 10 to 12 days. We were up at Murchison Falls and the safari there, made a loop down and visited some villages, some people that my daughter knows here. And then we've ended up here at the source of the Nile. Right behind us is the source of the Nile, the point where Lake Victoria transitions into feeding the Nile. It goes all the way through Egypt. So it's just a very historic, incredible place. I've been backing everything up with my Narbox as we've gone along because I have not brought a computer with me. It's been very simple when I have it on, I just simply take my card out. Now I'll open it up, put my card in the end, and I have a couple options. First one is I can just simply hit backup, and it's going to give me a, a just a quick backup. It's going to back it up immediately. I can set this back in my bag. It'll take a few minutes. It'll back up. I can go on and do other things. Or I can eject it. I can go on to some other options on there. But the nice thing is that I can now use an app. And with the app, I can look at the images that I've downloaded. I can rename the folders. I can create new folders. I can do selects through a program called Selects. I can do a lot of things to prep the video if I'm going to do some editing. It's just a great way to be able to manage assets when you're on location and not have to carry a computer. 
So I've got two of these, that's why this one has a number one on it for me. So I'm carrying this and I can now back this up to the other one or I can back it up to another drive. Any kind of a drive will plug into this USB and we'll be able to uh, back it up through that. So it's a great device to be able to take with you on location. Uh, when I'm done here, I'm just gonna simply eject my card and put this back in my bag. It's rugged, so it's been traveling really nicely and I can go back to uh, shooting again. So it served me well here in Uganda. So back to the States we go tomorrow. Trip's over, time to get back to reality. All right, we've got back from our safari and I've got all of my images on the Narbox. I used about 850 gigs on the Narbox. You simply have to go in, click on the Narbox startup and go to mass storage. And when you hit mass storage on, it turns your Narbox into a drive, which allows it to back up all your stuff on your computer. Very, very simple process. So once it shows up as a drive, I have it here on my drive on my computer. There's my Narbox. I can see all of my images. Click on there, there's everything that I had from the shoot that I did. There's my, there's my lion shots. And my images are all there, exactly how I folderized them. I did a little bit of organization to get them into different folders according to what days we're shooting, what we're shooting. That gave us the ability to split that all up ahead of time. But now I can take all of that in one sweeping motion. I can just select all of this, move it down and drop it into my system and then I'll attach my numbers to it to get it organized into my system once I get back. But I've done the hard work of getting everything in the right folders and to get it organized according to what I shot as I shot it. You can even in video, and I didn't do this, I didn't shoot a lot of video, we shot some, but you can start to, to work in video off of your Narbox and start to do some uh, simple editing. It gives you the ability to prep uh, footage and be able to prepare your footage to be able to work in video with it as well. So it's great for both stills and video. It isn't just a still device, it's made for video as well. So there you have it. Next time you go on location or vacation for that matter, if you have a device like the Narbox that helps you to keep your images organized, you can see them, you don't have to haul that laptop along with you, which sometimes is very difficult to do. We also have a great landscape photography course. So if you're going out to shoot for several days and you're gonna be doing landscape, check out a course. If you go to thuslinlens.com, online courses, Check out that landscape course by Shane Walls. It's going to teach you the things you need to know to be able to shoot great landscape photography. And he taught me some great principles when I worked with him. I loved working with him. So get that course over at thusonlines.com, online courses. Then you can take your Narbox on your next shoot where you're doing landscape and you can back all your images up there and see exactly what you got. So keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. It's time for the SKB side impact test. Multiple side impact test. Let's see if our camera survived. Still working. The SKB multiple side impact test.